What's up, YouTube? This is K2 Karam again, and we got the kitchen table passport uh, unboxing today. And this one is Tunisia. Tunisia? I've never heard of that place. <clears throat> Me either. Um, but I guess it's just a bunch of desert. Um, when you think of Tunisia, do you think of endless miles of desert camels, or maybe some old men quietly smoking hookah? They're all there, of course, but Tunisia has lots more to discover. Since it's on the Mediterranean Sea, it has miles of gorgeous coastline with amazing cliffs and sandy beaches. There's also an incredible history to discover. Carthage was a military powerhouse during the Roman times, and many a battle was fought between the two. Roman ruins are there. The culture is different than anywhere else. Blah, blah, blah. That's interesting. Okay, so... Tunisian food is a blend of Mediterranean and d desert dweller culinary traditions. Unlike most North African nations, so I guess it's in Africa, Tunisians have a fondness for spicy dishes said to be a result of many civilizations that ruled the land. Old Wives Tale says a husband can judge his wife's affections by the amount of spices she used to prepare his food. So they could easily murder somebody, apparently. They can't taste anything. The dish, <laughs> shak shoka, I don't know. That's hard. Um, in Tun Tunisian Arabic, it means a mixture, and it's as simple as that. It's kind of like a really spicy vegetable looks, marinara soup. Like I don't know. It looks like lava. It does look like lava. <laughs> It's like, it can be, they pretty much eat it whenever they want to eat it, and they can be the main dish, or it can be like a side dish, like how some cultures eat beans and rice. I guess it's kind of like their side dish, but I guess they really like it. Um, <laughs> the mementos this month are a copper plate, handcrafted copper plates like these are common decorative items in Tunisian homes. People collect and admire different patterns in calligraphy, and the plates come in various sizes. Clean it with warm, soapy water, and if it should get tarnished over time, Tunisians will sprinkle salt on a wedge of lemon and rub the plate to bring back the shine. That's nice. Um, the other is a handcrafted olive wood teaspoon, and um, it's made from dense olive wood, which will resist odors and stains better than other types of wood. Wash it by hand. Restore the beauty from time to time by rubbing, rubbing olive oil on it. The spoon and plate were made by hand in the city of Dar Charbane El Ferry, a 1,400-year-old city in northern Tunisia. Pretty it's cool. really nice spoon. It was nice. All right. Also, I always forget to mention, but there's a playlist that comes with this. It's got um, traditional music from... The place um, that we're looking at. You just gotta scan the QR code and then it'll take you there. It's kind of cool. We haven't listened to any of them, but I mean, still pretty neat. So our spices. There you go. <laughs> this is really. <coughs> Strong. So we're trying to make that dish that looks like lava. I think there's an egg in it. Um, it's you make harissa and then you make the sauce and then I guess you like put it together. I'm not sure. Okay, so combine two tablespoons of your olive oil with garlic cloves, mint, cilantro, blah blah blah, and then you make the sauce and then yeah, I want to see the ingredients. So. Olive oil, chopped garlic, lemons, mint, cilantro, bell peppers, onion, tomato paste, crushed tomatoes, brown sugar, um, six large eggs, oh, leafy eggs. parsley, pita bread, or unsliced loaf of bread. Yeah, so it's just like a big, like... Stew-like thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess it's just kind of like a thing to eat. I don't know. Sounds pretty good. I'm kind of scared, though. 
I don't, I don't really, what are the spices? What's all in there? It just says, uh, herb and spice mix, uh, cayenne pepper, caraway seeds, I can't read this, Okay. smoke, paprika, and salt. I'm not sure. Some other seeds. How spicy that's going to be, but I don't really like spicy stuff because of my acid. Um, okay, so our little discovery cards. We'll just go through a few of them here and let us know if you want to hear more. I just try not to make the videos too long if people aren't interested in culture. Um, modern Tunisia, Jasmine Revolution in Tunisia was the start of the Arab Spring. In December 2010, a college graduate working as a street vendor set himself on fire to protest unemployment and corruption. After 23 years in power, President Ben Ali fled the country on January 14, 2011. Beji Kade Esebsi was elected president in 2014. I guess they went without a president for three years. Damn. It's weird. The new constitution recognizes women as men, women and men as equals, separate powers, and protects freedom of religion and expression. America doesn't realize that there's countries out there that don't have what we have, and that's, I mean, that's great for them to have that. It's been two years, well, no, a year, if that. I mean, I don't know when in 2014 all this happened, but that's great. Um, apparently, it's a tourist country. Five million people visit Tunisia each year. It's the fourth highest visited um, place in Africa. Oh. That's crazy. Ham, Hammamit, I don't know, it is the largest tourist resort, very popular with European vacationers. Oh, so it's like holiday vacation, not like American vacation. Um, you can ride a camel. Okay. They got a bunch of stuff that you can go see. Um, living in Tunisia, towns have main mosque, a market, and a traditional public bath. Public baths are less a part of daily life now. Houses are built around a courtyard, and entrances are built for privacy. Jasmine is the national flower, and people will carry small posies. Water scarcity is an issue. R rural life is very different from city life. Little infrastructure in life is much more traditional. They have, um... Yasmin Hammamet is held in July and features live music, art, and readings by authors and poets. Festival of Sahara and Dews Dows, started in 1910 and attracts 50,000 50, people. You can watch camel racing. Hmm. Tabarka hosts the International Jazz Festival, and there's a large arts event held in an old Roman amphitheater. This is one of their little houses, The I think it is. It's kind of interesting, the little white and blue one. It's not as big as I was thinking, but I guess it works. Um, Tunisian women have more rights than women in many other Arab cultures. The Code of Personal Status, enacted in 1957 after liberation from France, gave women many rights. Women's Day is a holiday, August 13th. Citizenship is legally required. No. Citizenship is legally equal. They have ability to divorce. Consent is required to marry at a minimum age of 18, and polygamy is outlawed. Women drive, vote, and hold office. Service police officers own companies. Parliament is 30% women. Um, their industry is cereal and olive oil as their top export crops. Dates and citrus fruits are also exported, and fish is the second food export after olive oil. Cattle are raised there. Artisan workshops have tons of workers. No, have... Yeah. More than... More than ten workers. But I'm assuming there's more... There's pretty large amount of artisan shops there. They have petroleum, and... Yep. Um, customs shisha, a glass water pipe with fruit flavored tobacco, is popular to enjoy in cafes, though some are for men only. A man should not smoke or carry his own child in front of his father. When shaking hands, a woman should extend her hand first before the man does. Men might not visit each other's homes because women might be present. If you are invited to a home, check first to see if your spouse is also invited. 
Traditional dress includes loose pants and a shirt, maybe a robe and a red felt cap for men. Daily life. Many urban women dress in Western clothes, which is American, um, and they do not wear a veil. Etiquette's important. People are polite. Don't bring alcohol to someone's home unless you know they approve. Knives and forks are now common, but many still eat with their hands, and you only eat with your right hand. A washing basin is brought to the table before and after the meal. So their food... They like a lot of stewy stuff and rice, it looks like. Hmm. Lots of oils and spices. Pretty cool, though. Um, talk about Carthage a little bit more. We got some more history stuff. Ottoman Empire. Um, From the 12th to the 16th century, Tunis was one of the richest cities in the Islamic world due to its location and trading power. It's pretty cool. Uh, something about a souk. Oh, souk. A souk or market is a major feature in each city and a must-do for any visitors. So like those really large ones that you see on TV or The Amazing Race or whatever where there's just, just, I mean, they go for miles. They're huge. Um, crowded tight spaces, food, clothes, whatever, high walls to keep out the heat, but it's like a maze. Remember to negotiate, um, and never ask about the real price. Um, amazing things to buy, barber carpets, and... Yeah, I mean, they literally have everything you could possibly want. It's the most northern city, northern country in Africa, on the Mediterranean coast, closer to Italy than Egypt, smallest country in Africa, and northwestern Africa, only slightly larger than the state of Georgia. Um, blah, blah, blah. They have caves. Kind of cool. Um... Uh, Star Wars movie set for planet Ta Tatooine. What is that? It's a desert planet. Oh. Well, they filmed it in Tunisia, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Luke Skywalker's home is now a cave hotel. That's cool. Um, it says Raiders of the Lost Ark and The English Patient were also filmed in Tunisia. And they have a bunch of really, really, really pretty pictures of the sites and the... Can you show it? In the sky and stuff. You got all their beliefs and stuff. Having a blue door in your house is thought to protect against evil. And C.D. Boo said, A beautiful hilltop village. Houses are legally required to be white and blue now. <laughs> Five daily prayers. Um, talks about their culture a little bit more. Tombs. Sacrifices. Yep, yep. Languages. Yeah. So that's about it. Cool. So there's just a handful of culture for today. And uh, hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And we will see you soon with another box. Bye.